Good morning, congregation. I am Dr. James, and I'd like to take some time to talk about the coronavirus crisis. Now, the coronavirus originated in China. Uh, it's a coronavirus uh, class. This virus is actually called COVID-19, which is uh, similar to the SARS virus and MERS virus that have occurred in the past. The transmission uh, probably occurred from bats into humans, which would be a zoonotic transfer, uh, which is believed to be a rare event. <clears throat> the virus now is in the US and we're taking on measures to prevent transmission. Now, the transmission of the virus is probably multifocal. There's probably contact uh, transmission, hence the reason for hand washing. And that's proper hand washing utilizing soapy water for at least 20 seconds. However, transmission probably occurs also via droplets. Now in studies done in the past, it's been shown that droplets is tr are transmitted from individual to individual during sneezing or coughing uh, for a distance of about three to six feet. So if you stand a minimum of six feet from an individual, you should be safe from droplet transmission. Uh, whether it is airborne or not is unclear. In patients who are being intubated, where there is uh, material being aerosolized, then airborne transmission would be possible. And that would occur in the healthcare setting. Um, so how is it presented? How does it present itself? Well, patients would normally have symptoms that are similar to those symptoms that occur during uh, flu infection. So there could be fever, uh, sneezing, coughing, shortness of breath. It could also be chills and sweats. Uh, patients can also have uh, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Um, <clears throat> so the best, as I mentioned before, the best approach to limiting transmission is social uh, distancing. Uh, six feet and hand washing, proper hand washing. In, case, in terms of uh, uh, trips and traveling, I would recommend avoiding airplane travel, uh, if possible. I would al I also recommend minimizing uh, uh, social gatherings. Uh, in terms of a cure, uh, there's currently no cure. Vaccines are being uh, worked on, but typically takes uh, 12 to 18 months. So our best chance right now is hand washing, social uh, distancing and uh, avoidance of droplet transmission by uh, distancing. Um, other things that would be useful include boosting the immune system. Uh, part of the reason why elderly patients are at more risk, at increased risk, is because of immunosenescence. The immune system does slow down as we age. How can we counteract this? We can increase our exercise activity, in particular aerobic activity, like walking, jogging, swimming. Those would boost the immune system. Uh, vitamins, in particular B-complex vitamins, and also anti-inflammatory agents. For example, elderberry, green tea, uh, vitamin C. Those would constitute antioxidants. Um, but overall, we're limited. In particular, in Houston, we do not know uh, what the prevalence is currently. Hopefully next week, uh, we will have more tests available and be able to make a better decision and be more informed as to just how prevalent the infection is. Again, our best chance, hand washing, social distancing, avoiding large crowds, um, and until we have better answers. Hopefully a drug would be developed. For example, the flu, we have a Tamiflu, which does reduce the severity and duration of the infection. It's possible that we could develop a drug that would help in this manner. But only time will tell. Uh, I thank you for your time and Godspeed.